Hi, it's John Flynn with Copley Advertising and today we're going to talk about seasonal businesses. Seasonal businesses, ski resorts, amusement parks, water parks, big ice cream facilities, beach business, all this stuff's seasonal. A lot of pressure. You got like 10 weeks, 12 weeks, make all your money, and then kind of sit out the rest of the seasons. So um, I think there's a, a way to kind of take the sting out of the off-market stuff. So it's not you know, going to replace income, but I think it, it could be income generated, and uh, you can see how it comes. So anyway, during the season, what you do is that, um, and I think seasonal business get caught in a trap. I've seen some company uh, businesses caught in this trap. Because what happens is they just open their doors during the summer and they get like a hefty bag of money. They're just great. And then they figure, ah, the off season's going to close and be done. But for those that are looking to kind of spread out their risk a little bit, is that um, what you could do is that you could uh, first put a Facebook pixel on your landing page. Okay, so you didn't do that. You should be doing that. Um, and then uh, we can geofence uh, the, uh, the facility, the ski resort, or the amusement park. Um, put some ad in there. You know, buy ten hot dogs, get one free. That's not really, you know, the, the main driver of this. And then start collecting IDs. That's what you want. So then we collect IDs of people who have seen the ad. That's called impression IDs. And we put that in, in an impression folder. And then people who have engaged in the ad. And that's called retargeting IDs. And we put that in the folder. So we compile these things as it, as it goes on. And um, then uh, towards the end of the soon as soon as the season ends. Let's say we do this for trade show. As soon as the season ends, like a week after the season ends, we send. We use the impression file and the retargeting file and send out, you know, get 10% off next year's, you know, year pass if you buy now. So um, that should be good because that's not really, I don't think that's really going to hurt sales down the road um, for people who want a yearly pass, but that will start giving you extra income forwards next year. Um, and it's a great time to do it, but if it's top of mind awareness, people just went to see your facility and they had a great time, so you might as well cash in on that. And then people could plan their next year vacations and go, okay, we got this year passed, we have to go here X amount of time. So that's good. So that's the first way of what goes on. And then uh, what you could do is that um, you could set up a landing page um, and then have a video on it of you know a highlight of the previous season of all this stuff went down and then uh, you could have an email uh, capture uh, which at this point you really don't need that much I mean if you have an email list that's great um, and you should be utilizing it but with the replacement of the impression IDs um, you kind of you know to me I think they're as valuable more valuable than emails because impression IDs uh, are not going to go bad unless somebody tears up their SIM card, which I haven't seen too many people do. So unless they tear up their SIM card, you'll be able to reach these people. So um, then you do a long tail conversation with them of like, hey, this is what we did last year, this is what we did this year. And then once in a while throw in like, oh, here's our new hat. Oh, here's our new whatever, merchandise item. And then, oh, here's, you know, buy 10 tickets to certain you know, if you have a musical production or, you know, ski boots, you know, having a ski boot sale, uh, stuff like that, and, you know, and so, you know, all online, all easy stuff, just keep it, keep it all digital, keep it all online, um, that way you don't have to open up your facility and have all those costs, this is like very low cost money, um, and you just keep hitting it, and then find what people respond to, maybe they really love ski boots and they don't like skis, maybe they really love skis, they don't like ski boots. Uh, maybe they want tickets to the elephant ride, but they don't want tickets to the clown circus. So go with the winners. You know what I mean? That's what they want. Double down on it. Just more. Give them more. And just keep engaging them as time goes on. Keep sending out those impression emails. Keep sending out the retargeting emails. Change up the copy on the landing page to a different video. And that way, um, 
you know, you're making money in the off season. And then as the season starts to come, you don't have to ramp up with all this marketing. I'm so tired of like ski resorts and, and amusement parks buying one billboard uh, that's worth $30,000 in Boston. Tired of it, tired of it. That's ridiculous, stupid. Don't, you know, I don't care if you're trading for tickets, it's still stupid. Um, so anyway, uh, any qu questions, please join us at copyadvertising.com. Be happy to talk to you and give you some strategies. John Flynn.